Welcome to this episode of Boiler Dan One, where my motto is, I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. And every once in a while, whenever I get a new tool or something, I will do a little intro on it. So this is the latest. This is the, uh, this is a rule I've had for many, many years. It's just a plastic uh, slide, measures centimeters and millimeters. Never really used it much or had any need for it until recently I've been getting into model shipbuilding. And a lot of the measurements are in centimeters. In the past I didn't have an appreciation for that type of measurement, but once you get into modeling, it can be helpful. And that's because it's in it's in breakdowns of 10, so it's easier than going into inches where it's breakdowns of 12. So I understand the metric system a little better now, but I also decided that I needed a better tool. It looks like it'll do everything that I want and need it to do. So let me open it up, let you take a look at it, and see if it's something you might be interested in. The reason I chose this one is that it is stainless steel, all metal, and it was on special at Amazon, and still is. It says it was originally $29.99, it's 60% off, and that includes $8 Prime, Amazon Prime savings. So I don't know if that's accurate. Uh, it's relatively new on the market. It has only four reviews, but they were all five star. Comes with a case. Here's some instructions. The batteries are LR44s. It will shut off automatically. There's a little tool in here. I imagine this is to this is probably to change the battery. It's a very tiny Phillips screwdriver. I will say it has a nice weight to it. You can tell that it's stainless steel. These came with my model ship and they are similar but not the same. It's recommended that when you first start you take it down to the bottom and this button zeroes it out. There is an on off button here and you can convert to inches or millimeters. I don't know that I'll ever use the inches but I will use the millimeters but you never know. The other thing that I like about it is you can you can manually pull this to where you want but when you get into the micro size then there's this little thumb dial and you can slide it and very gradually take it up or down. And because I use small items, the stow rod for example, which should be about four millimeters. I'm using the thumb, the thumb, and it comes in at 4.02. Now I don't expect that this is milled that precise, so I'm guessing that's an accurate measurement. The smaller one, I think, should turn out to be 0.03. Again, I'm going to zero out it already. It says it's zeroed. As an example, here's a mass that I'm working on. It was supposed to be 133 millimeters in length. So I can take this up to 133. I'm getting close, so now I will use that wheel. And considering that it's measuring in, what would be that, hundredths of a millimeter, there is 133, and it has this little, oops, I moved it. It has a little knob on top here that then you can lock it in. So there's 133. I can lock that down. It won't move, and now I can check and see how close I was. And actually, I'm over just a little tiny bit, which is fine with me, but with this instrument now, I can get things consistent. So each piece that I need to be that that size, I can lock this in and it'll work. Uh, the readings are easy to see in my opinion. It gives the tens and then at the top it's the single digits. Very happy. The other thing you can measure is depth. So as an example, if I wanted to know the depth of this, 
Take that down. Now I can lock this little nut in. 37.25 millimeters is the height of this little edge of this little box here. You can also measure interior width with these two. I'm going to slide this outward. And it is 50.55 millimeters in interior width. Outside, you can do from the inside, you can do the depth, both inside and outside. It says the measurement range is from 0 to 150 millimeters. So as far as the accuracy, if you're measuring from 0 to 200 millimeters, the accuracy is within 0 0.03 or three hundredths of a millimeter. If you're beyond that, from 200 to 300 millimeters, your accuracy goes to 0 0.04 millimeters. Perfectly for what my needs are. It says it's a hardened stainless steel. Fairly impressed for no more than $11. On off button, or like I said, it will shut off automatically. So that's it. Came with a nice carrying case. I'll put on screen the specifics of the item that I purchased through Amazon. I'm not sure how long it'll remain at the under $12 price, but for $12 for my type of work, I couldn't go wrong.